Just tell me, tell me where the he is. It's not even like it's that. It's exactly like that. I'm scary too, much. Nick Dad gone for good. Maybe you thinking you next? You scared, Rock? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, Season 3, Episode 6. This is the What to Expect video for Episode 6, and it is based off the trailer that they put out. Now the title of the episode is called Into the Darkness, and the description of the episode reads, Dangerous secrets are revealed as Famous unburdens himself to Kanan, and Rock finally tries to make amends with Lou. Marvin struggles with his role as a stage dad, and Howard attempts to get closer to the task force. So those are the key elements of this next upcoming episode. You guys, we got to remember that they will be going on a break, and from what I'm seeing, it's telling me January 12th, and... That's what we're going to get, y'all. So we got a little bit of time before the next episode airs. And I know everybody wants to see episode six because the talk of the town is, is Unique dead? That's what people are talking about, at least the fans. And I asked you guys this in my recap. I asked you guys this in my quick thoughts, early impressions on what y'all think. The crazy part is, it's like 50-50. A lot of you guys actually believe that Unique somehow, some way survived. And then the other half are saying he up out of here. From the looks of it right and i told you guys realistically speaking if this happened in real life unique he gone i mean the dude got beat down with that you know pole and it doesn't seem like he made it your boy ronnie was not playing around and i guess he is the big dog of the town and look i understand from both perspectives i mean we got a lot of hardcore power fans that believe that they need to show unique's dead body they need to pronounce that he's actually up out of here they want to see, you know, his body like Kanan or like Angela or other characters that we've saw in the Power Universe. Well, in episode six, maybe we find out if that's going to be the case. And then after that, maybe all the debates will stop because it don't matter what I say. I can say he flat out dead. I can say I think he's alive. The fans don't really give a damn. They want to see episode six because they want to find out and they want to be 100% sure that he's up out of here. So... We're going to see soon enough if that's going to be the case. And since they out here leaking episodes, I did see one of you guys mention that if they're going to leak anything, they need to leak this next one. I mean, we still got five more episodes left. I told you guys do not be surprised if another leak pops off. We've seen two of them in Power Book 2 Go Season 3. So we're going to see what they're going to do for Raising Kanan in Season 3. But it was some things in this trailer that I noticed um, one of you guys or multiple of you guys mentioned about what was said. And we're talking about the part in the trailer where we hear someone say Neek dead, gone for good. Now, one of you guys did mention that that ain't Detective Howard. You know, y'all think that it's most likely Ronnie. And to be honest with you guys, you just may be right. Like I tell you guys, I'm not right about everything. So it was good that that was caught in that trailer. You guys let me know if y'all think that was Howard or Ronnie. But based off the trailer and based off what we were seeing in the trailer, it may just be your boy Ronnie. And he's probably having a conversation with Juliana. We're going to talk about it soon enough. But I'm going to try my best to focus on all the key points that we saw in this trailer. If I miss anything, let me know down below. So what did we see in this episode 6 trailer? Well, it seems like P is very pissed off she wants to know where the hell is unique at and as i told you guys from the looks of it from the looks of what she's talking about the body ain't been found yet and unique ain't came home so she's like he's most likely kicking it with rock probably hooking up with her once again so now she wants to go and confront rock i mean we see the strap and i'm thinking she's all in her feelings and she's like look i'm gonna go there and i'm gonna see what she says now that strap that we saw her wit definitely looks very similar to the gun that we saw just a moment ago. But she's going to tell Rock or at least question her about Unique. And she's like, look, where is he at? Just tell me. Now, Rock, she doesn't even know where Unique is at. That's because that boy is in the dirt. Now, Rock will get the upper hand on P. And P probably was shaking and Rock took advantage of it. And then she was able to neutralize her. Now, Rock's going to have an opportunity to take her out. The question is, will she do it? I'm thinking she's not going to do it, but then again, 
Bodies have been getting dropped off since the very beginning of the season, so I would not be surprised if Rock does do this. Now, we also know that your boy Kanan, he is going to be kicking it with Snap and Pop Henry. We're going to see the introduction between the two, and y'all know Jukebox eventually will go back to Rock and let her know that he's kicking it with these old heads, and most likely she is not liking it. I still think it's going to be tension in the air between Jukebox and Kanan because of who? Aisha and we know that Jukebox really liked her but of course Kanan he went in he talked to her and I believe that's going to create issues for them down the line you guys let me know how y'all think that's all going to play out but we can hear snaps talking about business is booming so most likely Kanan will get better opportunities to make this bread and then we're going to see Kanan have issues with who famous because the description does state that famous is going to unburden himself to Kanan so that lets us know Nine times out of ten, he's going to let Kanan know about that strap and that Rock put that strap in his book bag and it's killing Famous inside. So he wants to tell his boy the full truth. But telling him the full truth is going to piss Kanan off and most likely they're going to continue to have issues. And he is letting Famous know that he is scary his damn self. Like he is the person you should be having some fear in, right? It ain't just Rock. So I definitely cannot wait to see how this scene is going to play out. We also see Marvin and Rock outside of her place of business and we can see the boys they're about to pull up most likely trying to cause some issues we know those officers that was running their mouth in the last episode basically trying to extort rock and she ain't going for it i do believe she's going to find a way to neutralize them because as i told you there's no way that the rock is about to allow these guys to continue to cause issues for her she will strike back eventually now the description does state that rock she's going to make amends with lou finally but we know in the trailer he is talking about is not about what you've done. It's about who you are. We know he has issues with her and I believe it may continue to be problems between the two. But hopefully things change and they can finally start to be cool with each other. Because I believe if they good as far as family, things will go better for everybody. But we shall see. Now this picture right here is from episode 5. I'm showing you guys this. That way you can see that this is Juliana's spot because in this trailer we see your boy Ronnie. He's knocking on somebody's door and I'm quite certain that it is Juliana. Now you guys did mention that y'all believe the person in the trailer that's talking about Unique is dead, gone for good is Ronnie. And most likely that is the case because it would make all the sense in the world that he would go back to Juliana and tell her that Nick is dead, gone for good. So let's do business together. So if that is the case, that means that we want to see a new partnership, a business partnership between Juliana and Ronnie. And I want to know if the next victim on their list is going to be your girl Rock, which we know Ronnie, he wants her up out of the picture along with Juliana. Now we can hear Detective Howard talking about, you know, cats are dropping. And then he says, maybe you're next. And then he says, you know, are you scared? And I'm pretty sure Rock is scared. Hell, I'm scared. As I told y'all, this boy, Ronnie, he's out of control. You don't know where he's going to pop up, when he's going to pop up, and how the hell he's finding out where everybody is at. All we know is this. He is dangerous as hell. If he's willing to take out his brother, what you think he going to do to you? And seeing how he believes Rock is the cause of all these issues, do y'all believe he's going to let that go? I believe eventually he will try to get Rock and Rock's going to have to use what she got in order to take him down. I believe with the help of Kanan, they can do it. You know what I'm saying? As she told her son back in season one, fear is good. Be scared because that is what's going to keep you alive in these streets. Well, we're going to see soon enough if Ronnie and Juliana are going to do what they need to do to take down Rock or will they slip up and fail because y'all know Rock, she's going to be good when it's all said and done. Ain't no way in the hell she's about to take another L this season compared to what happened to her at the end of last season. It's just not going to happen. And when she finds out about what happened to Unique, what you think she's going to be on? She's going to have to step up. Everybody's going to have to step up because they can be the next victim. Now, we know the description does state that Marvin's going to struggle with his role as a stage dad. Let's us know that there will be some issues with Jukebox and maybe this old group is going to cause some problems down the line. We also know that Detective Howard, he's going to attempt to get closer to the task force. Well, if he's going to do that, he has to make sure that he does not slip up because we know Steve Nash and the face looking boy is not going to stop. That dude is on one and I would not be surprised if they continue to press the attack 
on everybody that's connected to rock because they want to see if they can catch anybody slipping now you guys i will continue to drop more racing canaan videos for you guys this week so stay tuned for them i want to thank you guys once again for all the love all the support and i will catch y'all on the next one but let me get up on out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace